Hello students, um, we're going to continue our video. We're going to uh, working on step eight, creating a code that will ask for two separate numbers from the user. Print the summation of those two numbers. So let's go back into our code here. What we're going to do is we're going to ask for, it's very similar to the age um, uh, entry we did. Number one, int, INP or input. And basically go like this, pick a number. And then number two, int, input, pick another number. Let's see if those work. What's your name? Kevin, Red, how old are you? Uh, 32. Pick a number. 5, pick another number, 6, there we go, it works. So the next step is we want to print the summation of those two numbers. So what we can do is we can just print. Those two numbers equal... And what we can do here is um, number one plus good old number two. Now let's see if that works. What is your name? Red. How old are you? 36. Pick a number 5 and 12. Those two numbers equal 12. So we know how to add. Um, continuing on, we want to create a code that will ask if the user knows what those two numbers multiplied together equal. So what we can do here is we can go... We're asking for an input. A numerical input. Um, what is the, oops, make sure that's green, quotation marks. What is the product of those two numbers? It should ask us for that input. Let's run this. Yet again, Kevin, red, how old are you? 37. Pick a number, 3 and 7. They add up to 10. What's a product of those two numbers? 21. There we go. The last thing we want to do is we want to learn how to do if statements. Um, if the user is correct, it says print a congratulation message. If not, write print a message to let the user know. And those uh, if statements are on page 68. So what we're going to do here is, first of all, we need to have the system generate um, an answer or know what the answer is. So we're going to go product equals number one times number two. So this is basically um, coding. Uh, the multiplication of those two numbers. So product is basically the multiplication of those two numbers. So we uh, we input our answer in co in step uh, line 12. System figures out what the answer is in line 13. Now we need an if uh, an if statement. Basically, if answer equals. Now we can't just have one equal sign because we have equal signs throughout. Um, our work here. So basically a double equal sign is, is the system's telling us that's what, you know, a mathematical equal sign. So basically if answer equals product, we're going to go and print something. So note the indent. We just went one line down and it indented it because it knows that we are 
creating an if statement and it's going to be some embedding in the in the lines there so um, print Wow amazing I didn't think you would know that okay and then an else statement basically it's a if this then this kind of thing and we are going to um, the else statement is going to go back there and this one's going to go up there print a little bit of laughing some really big laughing haha -ha. lol wrong and let's just leave it like that okay there we go let's run this what is your name kevin red that's my pirate name how old are you 30 i like 37 37 pick a number um 60 pick another number let's go with uh 12. What is a product of those two numbers? Huh. See, it um, doesn't think I know how to do math, but this is 720. Wow, amazing. Didn't think you would know that. Um, yeah, showed him or her. So that is Python coding. That's, uh, as I said before, it's a quick introduction into some of the elements in there. Go ahead and play around with this assignment. This covers the basic minimum that we want to uh, uh, get across. How to enter variables, how to um, ask for uh, input, uh, how to make an if statement. Now, back with our if statement before I close this off. If we had put that print statement right at the beginning. Oops. And we to run this, we're going to get an error here. Basically, indentation error. Expected an indented block after if statement on line 14. So we need to indent that. Same thing with 17. Basically, as a way to make this a little more user friendly because it's easier to see where the whole loop, the if statement loop is. And let's just run it one more time for good practice. Kevin Red, that's your pirate name. How old are you? Let's go with uh, 41. Pick a number. Let's go with 7. And let's go with 10. They add up to 17. Multiplied together is 70. Wow, amazing. There you go. So to save this, what we want to do is... We want to press save up here. Um, please log in to have your snippet saved. Um, let's go with, I thought it did log in here. Name of the project. Let's go with um, coding example. And then to share it, what you're going to do is go share. You're going to share this code. There you can send that an email or you can um, um, save it and attach it or insert that code line in your assignment um, folder in Blackboard.